सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट कॉग्निटिव इम्पेयरमेंट कॉग्निटिव इम्पेयरमेंट सो बिफोर टॉकिंग ऑन दिस टॉपिक प्रॉपर लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट आर द बेसिक फाइव डोमेन्स ऑफ कॉग्निशन कॉग्निशन वन इज मेमरी मेमरी अनोदर इज लैंग्वेज अनोदर इज बिहेवियर अनोदर इज भिजुअ स्पेशल एबिलिटी भिजुअ स्पेशल एबिलिटी अनोदर इज एग्जीक्यूटिव फंक्शन एग्जीक्यूटिव फंक्शन सो मेमरी लैंग्वेज बिहेवियरल स्किल्स भिजुअ स्पेशल फंक्शन and executive function so these are the five basic domains of cognition if there is impairment in any of the domain we called cognitive impairment and you know in many neurodegenerative disorders these cognitions are impaired so when any patient with cognitive impairment uh, comes to your office initially you have to a screen for that with mini cog test mini cog test there are also other tests like montreal cognitive assessment uh, but this is one of the popular screening tool mini cog test in this test what you tell patient three words like banana chair sky you tell three words 1 2 3 and ask to repeat that and uh, remember it okay and after that you tell the patient to draw a clock and let's suppose you ask a patient to point uh, the um, clock to 10 past 11 and uh, the patient starts figuring out uh, the clock like this is 12 6 3 9 1 2 3 Seven, eight, ten, eleven, and if the patient uh, is correctly able to draw, then he gets two a score. If not, then zero a score. And after drawing the clock, you ask the patient to recall the previously told words like banana, chair, sky, and with each word you give one point. So here total three point. and here 2 point so total score is 5 point and to pass the test patient should get at least 4 out of 5 okay so this is mini cog test in addition to this you have to do general physical examination and what are the basic lab tests you order so one is complete blood count vitamin b12 thyroid function tests and in high risk patient you screen for syphilis hiv other infectious disease like lyme serology and you may need to order ct head mri because sometimes subdural hematoma hemorrhage stroke these also can lead to dementia cognitive impairment so we have to order lab tests imaging and sometimes you may also need to do csf study for tau protein a beta a amyloid proteins dopamine uptake study that is called spct but those are not required in all patients because those are expensive you have to judge it on individual basis but these are some of the common tests that uh, we need to order because with this we can find out whether the cause is reversible cause of dementia or irreversible cause of dementia if it is neurodegenerative disorders then obviously we can't reverse that but if, you, if there is vitamin b12 deficiency hypothyroidism you no know, in these cases if we treat the underlying pathology we can revert the cognitive impairment that's why it is essential to find whether this cognitive impairment is reversible or not reversible